Today, I will discuss and explain to you how to solve the perimeter, circumference, and area of simple geometric figures. Uh, first, perimeter. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance around a closed figure, means the distance around a figure, or simply adding the length of all sides. From this example, we have a length of 10 meters. So the opposite of this rectangle is also 10 meters. We have a width of 5 meters, so the opposite is also 5 meters. So solving for the perimeter, length plus the length plus width and another width. So given 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5. So the perimeter is equals to 30. Next, perimeter of a triangle. Perimeter, we all know that triangle has three sides. One, two, and three. So the perimeter of a triangle, adding all sides, is A plus B plus C. From this example, we have A, B, and C. So the perimeter is A, 2, plus B, 4, plus C, 3. So the perimeter is 9. Next, perimeter of a square. Again, square has 4 equal sides. So the perimeter is S, plus S, plus S, plus S. Or simply 4s. So from this example, s is equals to 3. So perimeter is 4 times the side, which is 3. So the perimeter is 12. Next, perimeter of a parallelogram. The perimeter of parallelogram is the same as the perimeter of a rectangle. So we have A and B. So perimeter, adding all sides, A plus A plus B plus B. So the perimeter is 2A plus 2B. So from the example, A is equal to 6, B is equal to 5. So the perimeter is 2 times the A, which is 6, plus 2 times the B, which is 5. So 12 plus 10, perimeter is 22. <clears throat> Next, perimeter of a rectangle. Again, there are two length and two width. So, perimeter is two length plus two width. From the example, length is equals to eight and width is equals to four. So, perimeter is two times the length, which is eight, plus two times the width, which is four, so this is 16 plus 8. The perimeter is 24. <laughs> Next, perimeter of a regular pentagon. Regular pentagon, pentagon, which means 5. So this has 5 equal sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, S plus S plus S plus S plus S. Or simply, 5S. So, from this example, S is equals to 5. So, simply, perimeter is 5 times the S times 5. Perimeter is 25. Next, circumference. 
circumference means the distance around the circle. Diameter is the straight line passing through a circle. And the radius is the half of the diameter. Solving for the circumference. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Pi is constant, which is 3.14. Or uh, pi times 2 times the radius. So, diameter is the middle of the circle. So, from the given example, diameter is 10. So, we can solve for the circumference. Pi times the diameter, which is pi is 3.14. times 10 so the circumference is 31.4 next area area of a square area of a square is s squared or s times s so the side is 3 from the example so to compute for the area, 3 times 3. So the area is 9. Next, area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is, area is length times the width. So length times the width. From the example, we have a length, we have a width. So the area is, length is 8, times the width which is 4. So the area is, eight, 32. Area of parallelogram is the same as the area of a rectangle. So the area is, A, times b given example a is equals to 6 and b is equals to 5 so area is 6 times 5 the area of a parallelogram is 30 next is area of a triangle area of a triangle is one half, one half base times the height. From the given example, we have a height which is equals to 8 and a base which is equals to 4. So we can solve for the area. One half times the base which is 4 times the height. Okay, one half times 4 is 2. Height is 2 times the height. Height is 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. So the area of this triangle is 16. Next, area of a trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid is the same as the area of the triangle. So area of a trapezoid is 1 half. The only difference is that the trapezoid has two base. So, one half times the base, but the base is two. So, B1 plus B2 times the height. From a given example, B1 is equals to 6 and base 2 is equals to 10. Height is equals to 8. So, we can solve for the area. Area is one half. B1 is 6 plus 10 times the height which is 8 so 16 divided by 2 times 8 so this is 8 8 times 8 is 64 so the area is 64 
Next, area of a circle. Area of a circle is, area of the circle is pi r squared. Pi is 3.14 and r. Okay, so from the given example, we have a diameter. To solve for diameter, diameter is the half of the, uh, the radius is the half of the diameter. So r is equals to 5. So, pi is 3.14 times 5 square. So, 3.14 times 25 is uh, 78.14. 5. So the area is 78.5. Okay, another example. Let's solve for the uh, area. Area of this figure. So we have a half square. So half square is 1 square, 2 half square, 1 square. So the area of the circle plus the area of the rectangle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared plus length times width. Okay? So 3.14 times r reaches 4.5 squared plus length times width is 9 times 12 so this is 20.25 times 3.4 is 63.58 plus 108 so the area of this figure is 171.58 okay Here's an example of an activity you might want to try. Comment your answer or check your answer on the description below. This is Teacher Gang and thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. If you have any topic you want me to teach you, please comment down and I will make a video for you. Thank you and goodbye.